Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun. In this video, I'm going to show you how to carve a very easy and simple Christmas tree for Christmas. This is a great little project for beginners, and it should only take you between 30 to 50 minutes to make. Now, if you're carving along with the video, and at any point you get lost, feel free to pause the video. Um, and I also have a picture on left hand side over here to show what the current step is. Now to get started, all you're going to need is your a piece of basswood, your preferred whittling knife, and a pencil. Uh, the wood I'm using right here is a one and a half by four inch block of basswood. This one specifically came from Treeline USA. It's their practice block, which is an excellent piece of wood. Uh, you can scale this up or down any way you want, but for the purpose of the video, I'm using a one and a half by one and a half by four inch piece of wood. Now to start off, we're going to go ahead and round out the wood a little bit. It's going to be a little bit harder to do when it's just a block of wood. So we're going to make it more of a, a cylinder here. And this is pretty easy to do. For me, what I do is I just quickly round out the corners. I'm not going really overboard on it. Just a slightly round block of wood is what I'm aiming for. And as you can see I'm not really joining the the curve from one side to the other. There is some of the regular wood that has yet to be trimmed up there in the middle. Uh, I'm not aiming for a super round piece of wood here. You can if you want, but for what we're going to be doing for carving, it makes a little bit uh, extra work that you really don't need to do. Ooh, went too much there. And you can see I kind of rounded it off a little bit. So. Just do the same thing to the other side, and then we'll move on to the next step. And you probably notice that I'm not doing it all the way down from one side to the other. I found when I do that, I start ripping some of the wood uh, with the grain there. Just find it a little bit easier just to do one side, and then flip it and do the other side. And if you have a roughing knife or even like a sloyd knife or something like that, you can go ahead and use that as well. Um, I, just, I just find that it might be a little bit overkill for the size of wood that we're using here, but it is completely possible to use that if that's what you have on hand. Round that off a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops, took too much there. You don't, you don't have to take off large chunks of wood if you don't want to. Sometimes it's just easier to strip off thin layers at a time and work your way down. Like that one I took off a, a big old chunk right there. Um, there we go. For the most part, it is rounded out. You can see it's more round on each side. And if you find some points where it's a little bit more rigid, just round it off. At this stage, it is not important for it to be completely round just yet. All right, now that we have it rounded out, we're gonna take our pencil. And as you can see here, I have it separated in a couple different sections. Um, for the purpose of the video, I'm only going to do three tiers on the tree. Uh, it's just easier for me to do. You can add as many or as few as you want. It's just, uh, it's just going to take more time for you. So what we're going to end up doing here is starting off with uh, the base. We're just going to identify that. Um, so what I like to do is I just take my pencil. I keep my pencil hand firm and I'll actually just roll the wood. 
that way I am keeping it consistent and I'll usually end up very close to where the other one was. There we go. Alright, so now that we have the base of the tree outlined, we're going to start trimming the, the top to make the tree shape. But keep in mind we're not going to be cutting it to a point like I have right here at the top. Instead we're going to make it like a tapered down cylinder kind of deal. You can see that even my pencil here, it's not going all the way to the top. The base is going to be wider than the middle, which the middle will be wider than the top, but I'm not yet going to cut it to a point. So what I, so what I like to do is cut a circle, cut it to about a circle about right here. It does not have to be a perfect circle. This is just a reference point, but this is going to be my smallest point that I'm trimming it from. So I'm going to cut it from here to about that circle on the tip. Now of course I'm not going to go ahead and start cutting from here to the top. What I actually like to do is start to form that, that tip at the, at the beginning. So I'll, I'll define my smallest point by cutting with a paring cut all the way around in a circular pattern and just like that so it's kind of like uh, a cone a cone at the top and I can now see where my smallest point is and then what I'll do is I'll work from here back down so I'm again not stripping it from this line all the way up here you can if you want to do that I found it's easier for me to just start going from this point and then work my way back. And take this part slow if you need. Um, if you find your knife is getting dull, just sharpen it up in the middle here. I sharpened mine up before I started, made it nice and super razor sharp so it's it's still cutting through the wood pretty dang good. And then once I got that point, then I'll just start tapering it back a little bit more further here. Now this part is about the more tedious setup of the whole carving is just getting the rough shape of it. You know this would probably be really easy to do if you had a lathe. So if you have a lathe I'd probably give that a shot with uh, making a Christmas, making this kind of a Christmas tree. You'd probably get one of those done in minutes if you had the right tools and setup. But then you wouldn't get the cool uh, whittled look of making the tree by hand like I'm doing here. See I'm just wor I work my way back so that my overall shape will be eventually tapered towards the front or tapered towards the tip I should say. Kind of a little knot in the wood there. A little bit more right there. And from here, we're just going to kind of roll it around and find any high spots on there. So just make it as much of a taper as you can. Find any rough or uneven spots, just go ahead and smooth them out a little bit there. There's one. Again, you don't have to be perfect. In this video, I'm not going to be aiming for perfection here, just the rough shape. I'm still basically roughing it out. And I 
think that's good enough for right now. So we have it a smaller point at the top and then a wider base at the bottom. Now the tree that I have here carved off, uh, already carved up, has three sections to it so what I'm going to end up doing is take my pencil again and just marking it three are adding two lines in here signifying the three sections so you have the base of the tree there the middle section and then the top portion and so what we're going to do from here is do kind of like what we did earlier when we made this line we're just going to roll it on the roll the piece of wood and continue our line all the way across do it again for the middle section here there we go and probably just outline the bottom one that I have here looks like I kind of rubbed it off with my glove this doesn't have to be perfect I don't really aim for perfection sometimes I like a little bit inconsistency with my carvings they make them more unique and just make them look nicer to me. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this line right here and taper it towards the tip. And what you might want to do is just add a little section at the top right there to show that that is indeed the tip of your tree. So, like the tip of the tree right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and taper it a little bit inwards and up towards the, the very point of the tree there which I'm going to be starting not at the line, but just a hair above the line. I like to put, give myself a little bit of room between the line and the, each of the sections. Otherwise, you run, run the risk of it being too thin. And like you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a flatter section where I accidentally cut it, uh, cut into the edge of the uh, tree there because it was too easy to do. Again, with this one, just like how I did before, you might want to taper the tip just the hair and then it would be easier to work your way back from that. good enough right now and just go around whittling it down to the tip there again take it slow if you need to I'm taking off more wood primarily just for the the video so it's not super ter super long here I'm not going to carve it to a super fine point just yet, but I'm going to start taking it to the sides here, start cutting the, the rim and kind of sweep upwards in almost a curved or concave fashion. Oop, too much concave there. That's probably not good for my knife. Let's see if I can smooth that out real quick. Yeah, you don't want to get too aggressive with that curve, just a slight curb up wood, upwards there. I was probably just trying to take off too much wood. And then now you have it roughed out a little bit there at the tip. Just smooth it out a little bit so you get some, rid of some of these hard lines up there. even out the base a little bit. There we go. 
Now you pretty much got your tip of the tree made and it's time to start working on the next section. Now for here what I like to do is follow this line that we've carved all the way around and make essentially like a stop cut all the way around. I like to do this at the beginning before I start carving. It's kind of a good way to make a hard line to know where you're going to be making your stop cuts. So make sure you just make a, a quick little slice all the way around following that line. And then keeping on the same groove they made, make a push in and make your stop cut. And then do add a small little bit there going and do this all the way around. So make a slight wedge cut up to that stop cut where you made and just work your way around in the, around the cylinder there. Because what this is going to do is make a hard separation between the tip of the tree and then the next section. And when you're sweeping up, you want to make sure you're not pushing too far into it or you might accidentally slice off that little bit there. And there we go. And once you've come up to your other side, you got your hard stop, you can start taking a little bit more wood off there and more further defining that that separation. Keep using a series of stop cuts and you'll be able to work your way in there. Now don't get too aggressive with it or you might accidentally take off too much wood. It's better to take off smaller sections than larger sections. That way you're not going to overcut the wood and have to compensate for a smaller piece of wood there. I've done that way too many times in the beginning. And sometimes you just end up with a funky looking shape to it. And either you have to get creative and think how to fix it or you just leave it. Might end up with one of those Charlie Brown Christmas trees instead. Sometimes what I like to do too when I get a good rhythm going is just almost make kind of like a skirt all the way around and come back through and further to find that stop cut and cut off all that stuff I just pushed up there. It's almost like you're making a little skirt on it and you're just removing all that extra fluff. There we go. All right, now that you have that mostly defined, you can start going from the bottom here. And do what you kind of did to the top and smooth out that section of the tree. There we go. And there we go. So that section is pretty much done. And then I'm going to follow suit for the next section of just exactly what I did on the last one there. Now for this section I'm going to fast forward through it. 
because it's just like this section right here. Um, so you're not really going to do much different at all, just a wider circle. So I'll come back at come back here in a second with this area cut out. All right, now that we got the bottom here shaped up, we're going to start working on the base. Now the base is going to be very similar to the other sections of the tree, but with the exception of it being a little bit thinner. So what we're, we're going to do is do the same thing how we started off each of the other sections, but we're going to cut back instead of making like a little skirt here we're going to cut that skirt back a little bit as we you can see right here so let's get on to that now one of the things that i want to make sure that you all do is not make the the base too thin otherwise your carving may kind of topple too easily and don't worry about the base not being completely flat. That can be fixed with sandpaper, or you can trim it up and make it flat uh, later on. All right, now they got my initial stop cut made. I'm gonna cut around here. Red stuff here for my thumb guards. And just like the other parts up there, just start cutting a little skirt all the way around. The point for this part here is take off a good chunk of wood. Uh, we're gonna, since we're gonna be reducing the overall size of it, it's basically just gonna whittle it down a bit. It's cleaned up a little bit and I'll start trimming down the, the trunk a little bit here so it looks more like a trunk. There you go. So it almost looks like 
the the base of the tree is just like all the other ones now if you wanted to you can leave it like this but for me i'm going to start cutting it back a bit here again you can do this slower if you want to but i am i just want to take off a good chunk of it here for the video uh, so what we're going to do is just whittle it down a little bit. Since you took off a lot more, you can, if you wanted to, continue taking off uh, some of the wood and further reducing the diameter of the tree trunk there. Um, which makes it look a little bit nicer here. I'm going to do it really quickly here and show you the next step that I like to do. As you can see on this the other tree here, I kind of angled the cut back a little bit um, instead of just make it straight up and down right here because I was noticing that, um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it starts getting rough right there since I'm splitting it right along with the green. So what I'm going to do here is kind of just angle it back a little bit there. You don't want to make it a really, really sharp taper down. Um, just a, enough of an angle to make a nice smooth cut and add a little bit extra dimension there at the base. There we go. So now you have a very simple tree. From here you can finish it up, uh, just trim up any sections that you see look kind of funky to you. Um, smooth it out and then you can use some acrylic paint like I did here to, to paint it up. Um, I had some glitter paint lying around so I decided to, to go ahead and just like cover the whole tree portion there to make, give it a little bit of sparkle. When you're using something you're not exactly sure you might want to just try putting some of the paint at the bottom like I did right here. Uh, I did that just to make sure that I did like what it looks like and then I took like a little uh, uh, toothpick I broke it in half that way I had a nice rigid little tool to apply splotches of red and blue paint for looks like ornaments and just put it on a tree and let it dry I didn't have any brown um, paint for the bottom so I just covered that part in beeswax that way the whole tree is sealed up well yeah that is a quick and easy Christmas tree that you can give for your way as the gifts or just have as decoration around your house. Thanks for watching guys. As always, hope you have yourself a great day.